Greetings online students. I'm here today to show you how to do some uh, peer responses in PeerMark. Um, this is not in your class, but in another class that's um, that I'm running live. Um, they have a paper that they turned in, and then they have a PeerMark assignment. I'm going to click through. I'm as I'm in here as a student, so I can show you how this works. So I'm going to click through to the PeerMark assignment, and it's going to load in um, Cengage as it does. And once she's in here. This is what you see on the screen. You will see this whether you've actually turned in a draft or not because I'm setting them up that way. So you can always do these peer responses even if you haven't done the other stuff. Looks like I need to use do the uh, Insight User Agreement. I agree, continue. You may have to do that to turn in your papers to start with. Now here's the deal. You've got this in here. You can read all the papers. Some of you saw that or will see it when you're going through. But what you want to do is click the down arrow here for Write Reviews. Um, the way that I've set these up in all the classes is I've given some where the computer has randomly selected papers for you to review. So you can click start a review to do all of those. You keep doing those until you run out. The same thing with select a paper to review. With whatever's left, you can go in there and do as many of those as you have till it runs out. Um, if I gave you the option for self-review, that'll be in there too. I might do that just so that you can see that your paper is really in there since I got a lot. But basically, if I click start a review, View, it's going to bring one up for me. It's going to load PeerMark. And now here we are. Now for theirs, it's different than what yours will be. I gave them some rating scales, but the, basically what you have is a bunch of questions where you just type stuff in this box, um, answering the question based on your reading of the paper. Something else that you can do in here, if you go to comments, you can click and now you can click anywhere on the paper and write a comment. So you can kind of put a comment near where you want to draw attention for the author um, to whatever you may you might say somewhere. I'm not really sure what this word means. You would put your comment close to that and um, give some suggestions. And then when you get done with all of that, um, you can save them to kind of keep going later or you can submit. I hope this has been helpful and thanks very much for your attention.